Hi everyone, and welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a grayscale shader and actually learning how to combine it with other shaders and how we can clean everything up. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. Now I have a demo project in front of me. I have a whole bunch of empty objects and in my room, I'm actually gonna start off by adding the object shader in here and you can see that it is completely empty. Now I did say that this video is gonna be about a grayscale shader. So let's go ahead and right click on shaders and say create and create a new shader called sh underscore grayscale. And we'll also mention that this shader itself you can find in the manual, but we will break this one down. So the first thing our fragment shader needs to do is find out the actual pixel color and we'll get the pixel color uh, based off of whatever sprite we're passing in. And then we need to find out the average of each color combined. So we could take the pixel color for red and add it to the blue or green and then add it to whatever is left and then divide that by three because we have three components here. Instead of passing the actual pixel color out, what we can do is we can just pass in a vector four and we could say average, 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 and then pass in whatever the alpha is, which is pixel color dot A. Or we can get a little bit smarter because these are all the same. We could say vector three pass in the average, which will be all three, and then pass in the alpha. So this is our basic shader here. So how do we actually use that? So if we go into the object shader, let's add an event and use a draw event. So in here, what we need to do is we need to use a shader underscore set, and we are going to set it to the grayscale shader. We are going to draw ourselves, and then we need to use a shader underscore reset to make sure that we reset the shader itself to the normal one. So if I hit F5, what's gonna happen is this particular object, you're gonna see it as a grayscale object. Now it is pretty dark, so we can do a few different things. We can add some values to it. So if we go back to the grayscale shader, we can add an R component, a green component, and blue component. And we could do this by, you know, we could just say, take the red, add 0 0.299, or we can get a little bit smarter. So let's take this again, and inside the average, we will use a dot function. The dot function is going to take two values. In our case, it's going to take the red, the green, and the blue, and then it's going to add in some vector three components. So the vector three will be 299, and we'll use 058, and then finally 0 0.14. And what this is going to do is it's going to take the 299, add it to the red, the 587, add it to the green, and the 114, and add it to the blue. Now it's a minor change, but if I hit F5 now, it's very slight, but you can see that this image is a little bit lighter than the other one and it gives it more normal feeling. So now that our shader is done, what happens if we go into our room and we add an asset layer here? Let's go to our sprites and grab some of these colors and I'm gonna add them in here. Now, I wanna make a full screen shader, so if I run my game, you know, I, I could say, hey, please work, but it's not gonna work because we're only drawing the shader on this particular image. Now I did add some sprites in here, so how do we handle this? Well, let's go to our object shader and let's do a create event, and then we're gonna say draw and a post draw. Now what we need to do with this particular object is we need to disable the application surface. Now the reason that we're gonna disable it, or specifically the drawing of it, is because it needs, we need to be able to draw ourselves. So we will use the application surface draw enable and set it defaults. And then inside the post draw, which happens after everything was drawn, we're gonna set the shader to the grayscale, and then we are going to draw the surface, and we are gonna draw the application surface ourselves at the top left of where it would be. The only thing we need to make sure we do is set this surface reset. So we'll go into our room, go to instances, and drag that shader full screen here, and you hit F5, and now our entire game is gonna be set to grayscale, which is awesome, that's what we want. Now, how can we take this a step further and clean this up? So let me actually take out the full screen, take out the object shader, and bring in the shader width here. Now, if I open up this particular object, I'm gonna add an event, I'm gonna to go to draw, and I'm gonna paste our shader code in here. So we have to set the shader, we have to draw the sprite, and then reset every single time. So what I've done is I've created a script that's going to set the shader automatically, run whatever callback function we pass it, and then reset it. So we can clean everything up by using with shader here. So that means that with this code here, now this is a small example of what we could just say with shader, we could pass in the grayscale shader and an anonymous function. And then in there, all we wanna do is say draw self, and now we can get rid of everything else. And if I hit F5, 
we're going to be left with what we had at the start, which is the object being shown in grayscale. Now that was a small example. So let's actually expand on that and do two shaders at once. So in here, let's go to our room. Let's find the shader width and then bring in the shader width double. Now in here, you can see that's completely empty. So I need a create event and then I need also a draw event. In the create event, because the way that shaders work, especially when combining them, we need to add everything into a surface. So we're gonna make sure that we have a variable that can handle that surface. In the draw event, just like before, we'll use the with shader function because it will make our lives a lot easier. So just like with any of the shaders, when we're doing with surfaces, we need to make sure that that surface exists. And if it doesn't exist, then we are going to create it. And we're just going to create it based on the sprite width and sprite height of whatever is assigned to our object. And the next thing we need to do is we need to set the target, which is going to be set to our surface. And then instead of saying draw sprite, uh, self, I'm going to say draw sprite and I'm going to pass in the sprite index. So that's the sprite that's assigned, the image number. So that's our frame number, except I'm going to draw at the top left. Now that I've drawn the sprite to the top left of the surface, I need to make sure that I reset the target. Now with this little bit of code here, if I hit F5, we're left with the gray with the gray scale, but we're not actually seeing this. So what we need to do at the very end is use a draw surface. And what surface do we want is we want that one based on the X and Y location. And if I hit F5, now we have what we first started out with. But that's not the end result that we want. We want to actually combine it with one more shader. So all we need to do is wrap this again inside a width shader. And we're going to pass in an SH blur, pass in the callback function. And in there, what I want to do is draw the surface. So this is going to first do the grayscale. And then it's going to load up another surface, or sorry, another shader, which is the blur, and draw the surface. So if I hit F5, we have the grayscale, and now we also have the blur, and that's combining two of them together. And now if you aren't using GameMaker Studio 2.3, what this would look like is if I commented all of these lines out, and I just make some space here, I could have the code in here where I create the surface, I set the grayscale shader, I set the, set the shader, set the target, draw the sprite, reset everything, set the shader to the blur, draw the surface, and then reset. And just to prove this works, if I hit F5, you'll see the exact same thing as we had before. It's just a little bit, uh, it's a little bit different than looking at this. I, I'm used to this stuff here. But anyway, I hope you found this information useful, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you all for the amazing support, and special shout out to the following in no particular order. Annie, Edward, Darth Wolf, Robert, Victor, Angel, Ashby, Ian, and Paul. And please leave a like or comment below, and don't forget to subscribe and share this channel. Also, please check out my Patreon page for more information, as I've also started putting up some text tutorials there as well. So thanks again.